So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to make sure that Epic Games Launcher has been closed. If you see Epic Games Launcher, you want to right click on it and then click on End Task. Then you want to head over to the Details tab and then do the same thing. If you see Epic Games Launcher, you want to right click on it and then click on End Process Tree. And then in the bottom right of your desktop, you want to click on the arrow. And if you see Epic Games Launcher again, you want to right click on it and then click on Exit. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in Epic Games Launcher. You want to right click on it and then click on Open File Location. Then you want to right click on Epic Games Launcher again and click on Open File Location again. Now once you're on this, you want to right click on Epic Games Launcher.exe and then click on Properties. And then you want to click on Compatibility. You want to tick Run This Program as an Administrator and Disable Full Screen Optimizations. You also want to tick Run This Program in Compatibility Mode and then click on OK. Now for the last step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD, then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on enter. Then you want to type in NETSH space winsock space reset and then click on enter again. Now you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.